In this episode, T-shirt body armor, Microsoft's Kin phone, iPad is released, and iPhone OS 4.0 developer preview. Quicksurf Internet Media presents The Geekinator, talking about all things tech and geek. Hey everybody, how's it going? I'm your host Adrian. I'm coming to you almost live from lovely Phoenix, Arizona here in Studio Cubicle 1 or C1. Um, I've been uh, playing around quite a bit uh, with the lighting in the camera position. Um, Recently upgraded cameras and have just uh, been spending some time trying to figure out the workflow. Figured I'd take some some episodes off to get that right um, so that I can continue to provide quality uh, workflow for you have upgraded software, you know, all that good stuff. Anyway, um, in this episode, we are going to talk about some cool things. Uh, Obviously, it's been uh, about a month and a half or so since the last episode, so a lot has happened. So I'm only going to talk about what's happened in the last uh, couple weeks, if that. So let's go ahead and start off with Season 3, Episode 7. There's this article I found um, at Life Science, and it's entitled, New Technique Turns T-Shirts into Body Armor. This caught my eye because I thought, wow, that's kind of cool. T-Shirts into Body Armor? I'm a really huge T-Shirt fan. And so uh, if you haven't noticed, I'm wearing a T-Shirt. And uh, so I said, you know what? I need to talk about this. The story starts off, those bulky bulletproof vests could become a thing of the past. Their replacement your t-shirt, but with a special coating. Bulletproofing can be done in one of two ways. First, old school approach relies on hard plates of metal or ceramic which deflect oncoming bullets. A more elegant way, perhaps, is the use of a network of fibers, the approach taken by Kevlar to catch the bullet, much like a hockey goalie catches a flying puck. This new technology also relies on the catching method. However, It uses an inexpensive material and a simple process, a feat that could bring body armor to the masses. So here's how it works. You take some cotton, you dip into a solution of boron powder. The researchers created a network of nanowires made out of boron carbide, the third hardest material known to man at room temperature. And uh, the new t-shirt body armor probably won't compete with the Kevlar type technologies, but could be used for situations in which less protection is sufficient. So this is kind of cool. Um, obviously, the boron that you're dipping this into, the T-shirt into, is a very proprietary formulation on how they've um, made those nanowires. So uh, it'd be kind of interesting to see as this goes on. I remember when I was a kid when Kevlar first, you know, started kind of hit the mainstream there. Um, you know, and it became known, oh, bulletproof vest, you know, Kevlar is bulletproof, you know, I mean, popular science did, you know, quite, gave it quite a bit of attention. And, uh, you know, I realize Kevlar has been around quite a bit longer than I've been alive, but um, it wasn't, uh, you know, I was a kid when I first heard of Kevlar, it's like, oh, wow, Kevlar, that's awesome. You know, I always wanted a Kevlar vest from that point forward, right? So, Pretty cool stuff. Uh, Definitely uh, check this out. Um, I'm interested to see how this uh, works out as time goes on. Let's go ahead and talk about our sponsor for this episode, GoToAssist Express. I want to spend a moment telling you about a new Citrix online service that will help you save time and money and make you look like a hero to clients or colleagues. GoToAssist Express. It's an easy and secure remote support solution purpose-built for small businesses and professionals who need to support clients. One of the best things about GoToAssist Express is that you don't have to pre-install software on your customers' machines, so you can instantly start supporting them online. Plus, with GoToAssist Express unattended support, with your customer's permission, you can even support customers when they are away from their computer. I've been excited with this release of GoToAssist Express because it's easy and affordable. My listeners can try GoToAssist Express free for 30 days. For this special offer, visit gotoassist.com slash techpodcast. I repeat, my listeners can try GoToAssist Express free for 30 days. For this special offer, visit gotoassist.com slash techpodcast. 
The next story that we have is a story that actually um, broke today. I, I found this on BBC's website, and it's entitled Microsoft Debuts Social Phone. Um, this is very interesting. Microsoft has launched a phone called the KIN, K-I-N, weird name. I don't get what that's about, but uh, it's aimed at younger users and geared towards social networking. The software firm says that phones have been created specifically to help people who like to stay in touch with friends and share content. It's fitted with a high resolution camera. It's also the first phone to access Microsoft's Zune music service. Uh, the phone itself is made by Sharp. The two Kin handsets will go on sale in the US in May. In Europe, the Kin models will be available on the Vodafone network and will be launched in autumn 2010. No prices have been given. So again, really early as things unwrap, I will uh, keep an eye on that and let everybody uh, know uh, about new developments. The next two stories are about Apple's, uh, about Apple computer. Um, or Apple Inc., I guess, is the new name. Anyway, uh, the first one, iPad, has arrived this past Saturday, Microsoft's new iPad, and uh, it's looking good. They've sold over 350,000 units over the weekend. Um, pretty awesome stuff. It's actually been selling at a pretty good clip, and so we'll uh, see as things progress, um, any hardware issues that fall out from this. I have a general rule, almost never buy Rev1 hardware um, from Apple. Anyway, long story short, I'm, I'm planning on getting one right now. It's just a matter of fitting it into my budget. On a second note, the second story I have, uh, this past week, right after Apple released the iPad, uh, Apple held a special event and they previewed iPhone OS 4. Um, some of the major tentpole features, as Apple has called them, is uh, multitasking. You now have folders. Um, they're releasing the iBooks app that originally came with iPad. You can now get that on uh, the iPhone OS 4. Unified inbox. Um, enhanced mail, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Very cool stuff. Basically, it's an it's a, an evolutionary step up from from I, the current version iPhone OS three. So, be curious to see how it works out. Again, I'll be very leery about actually installing it until they get to like four point one or something like that because I'm just one of the problems with their secrecy is they don't really necessarily test it that well. So we'll see how that goes. That'll pretty much do it for this episode. As always, everything we've talked about is linked up in the show notes, quicksurf.com. And uh, you can uh, visit us on the web, quicksurf.com. Shoot me an email, geekinator at quicksurf.com. You can also follow my Twitter, twitter.com slash Adrian underscore bacon. I have all that linked up in the show notes. And uh, for those of you who want the HD file, uh, you can go to my website. I do now have RSS feed set up for the iPod compatible video, the HD compatible video, and also the main QuickSurf feed, which also includes uh, files from other podcasts that I host and produce. So uh, definitely check that out. And with that, I will see all of you on the next episode. See you then. Bye. <laughs>